Hello everybody, today we will learn how to deploy a smart contract onto the Ethereum testnet Gorilla. So to do this task, we will use something called Hardhat. Hardhat is an Ethereum development environment which allows developers to compile, debug, and deploy their smart contract onto a testnet or mainnet on Ethereum alike. And Hardhat is super useful for us because it also helps us store some of the boilerplate that is needed for the project setup, thus saving a lot of time and energy. So in this demo, I'm going to be using Hardhat. And by the way, about my setup, I'm using, I'm, I'm in a React app right now, but you can use any framework that you like. And the framework doesn't really matter. I'm just in a React app right now. So let's get started. So let's install Hardhat right now. To install Hardhat, we just need to type npm install Note that you need to install a node first before you can run this command. So let's wait for it to install. Should take pretty fast. Okay, so it's finished installing. And as, it, as I said, Hardhat can help us set up some of the boilerplate that we can use for deploying a smart contract so to do that we just need to type npm hardhat and it will set up some of the boilerplate this step will take a bit longer yes we want to create javascript project enter and then test deployment and oh yeah we have to delete this readme remember i'm in a react environment so it doesn't really matter let's just delete it enter and yes so uh, Hardhat is helping us install some of the boilerplates that we're going to use for the deployment stage. So let's wait. Uh, Hardhat has, has helped us finish installing all the boilerplate. They helped install the config file, some of the scripts, and Hardhat should have installed, helped you install some kind of boilerplate smart contract but in this example for this demonstration i'm just going to use my own smart contract uh basically the smart contract is a smart contract that allows for uh, minting an nft which is in set erc721 and i i won't go too much into about this smart contract but it doesn't really matter this is the smart contract which i'm going to use so right now everything is set up all we need to do is to prepare for deployment so to prepare for deployment, what we have to do is to go to the scripts folder and there is a file called deploy.js and Hardhat should have gave you some of this boilerplate code uh, but we have to make some edits. So first, you see this, there's a capital greeter and like there's a lowercase greeter. We want to change all the capital greeters to the name of our, our smart contract. So let's call it NFT mint just basically just change it to the same name mint. and then nft mint we want this to be lowercase and nft mint so basically if you see a lowercase just make it lowercase and then if you see uppercase just make it uppercase and then you have to make this nft mint because it's lowercase and they want a console.log so we just make this little case yeah so this setup is done uh this setup is just basically telling us what uh which smart contract that we want to deploy so the setup is done and just maybe to make it more consistent we can rename this but in this demonstration i won't rename it so this part of the deployment is done and the next step is that we need to do the actual deployment, deploy on a testnet. So the next step is the actual deployment. I'm going to deploy this smart contract onto a testnet on the Ethereum blockchain. The reason why I'm deploying this smart contract onto the testnet instead of the actual mainnet is because the mainnet to do a transaction, you need to pay some gas fee and the gas fee costs actual money and we don't want to be paying any actual money 
So we're just going to be using a testnet for this demonstration purpose. We also advise you to use a test testnet for your project for the hackathon as well. So you can use any testnet that you like for doing this, but in this example, I'll just be using the Groly testnet because the Groly testnet, it's it's just personal preference, but the Groly testnet, because I use it because the other testnets are going to be deprecated anyway, so I'm, I'll just use Groly. So as I said, we still need to pay some gas for completing a transaction on the testnets, but you can just get the Groly ETH from a faucet. Faucet just basically sends you like fake ether. So let's go into MetaMask. And a reminder is to use a, a dev account, a, a test account, because you don't, you don't want to be using your real account for any of this stuff, any of the testing stuff, because later you need to export your private key. So anyways, let's just copy the address of, of my dev account. Re make sure that you're on the Gorilla testnet. You can get it from clicking the, this button, and then you can see this testnet. If you can't see your test that maybe you have to go to settings networks and pick the test nets from here but anyways make sure you got the address for the Gorilla test network let's copy this address and let's get some fake ether from the faucet to cover our gas fee now that we have some fake ether into our Gorilla testnet account what we have to do right now is to go to the site called infura.io so infura.io is a blockchain node provider and it allows us to collect to the other nodes in a testnet or the mainnet depending on which which chain you're using so when you go to infura click create new project uh, i'm just going to select ethereum and the project name is going to call it test deployment i'm going to create this and as you can see when we create this project, they have given us an endpoint, an API endpoint, so that we can connect to the other nodes onto the Gorilla testnet blockchain. So let's let's keep this here. And next step is that we have to go to Etherscan. Uh, on Etherscan, they have an API key that we will use to verify our smart contract when our contract is going to be deployed onto the testnet. So to get the, to fetch the API key, I'm not gonna do it on screen because uh, I have some other API keys and I can't show them. But basically, what you have to do is go to your dashboard and then click API keys, create a new project, and it's pretty self-explanatory from there. They'll give you an API key, and remember to copy that, copy that the same way you did for the Infura uh, the IO. And then last but not least we have to fetch the private key of our metamask account this is because later we have to tell that this is the account that is going to deploy the smart contract so this is also another reason why we have to use a test account is because our private key if someone has a private key then they can basically enter our account without any password or username and it's basically really important also, this, these, AP, these two API keys and the private key are like super, super important. So that's why I just use a test account. And I'm uh, after this video is uploaded, I'm just going to delete these projects. So don't bother hacking into, into my stuff. So anyways, to fetch the private key of our test account, we click account details. And then we click export private key. We type in password on MetaMask confirm and as you can see here's a private key and we will have to copy it so now that we have the two endpoints and we have the private key uh, we need to it's really important and we need to store them in somewhere safe because it's a private key and our endpoints so and we have to use that in the future so to store in a safe place let's create a .env file so we create a .env file and then uh, paste in all those endpoints and I, I did this off screen but in the end it should look something like this you have your RPC URL from the infrared IO to connect to the nodes you have your etherscan key from etherscan to verify your smart contract 
and you have your private key from MetaMask. So it should look something like this. And after you've done this, I actually forgot something. You have to go and run this command. Uh, at dm install dot env. So let's wait for it to install. And again, it's really important. That's why we're putting in a .env file. But anyways, right now the .env file is created. And then right now, the next step is the actual deployment. So we have to do some configuration with the deployment. For example, which account we're gonna use, which wallet address we're gonna use to deploy the smart contract, which testnet, etc. So the way to do that is to go to this hardhat.config.javascript file and we need to add in like the .env lines so then we can use the .env uh, objects in in this file so we have to type require actually we type const.env equals to require.env this these commands basically allow us to use the .env uh, stuff in the hardhat.config.javascript and then we type in .env.config now here is the part which we actually do the configuration so go to module exports and you see there is already an object of solidity and it's 0.8.9 this basically refers to the version of solidity you're using in your smart contract so in my smart contract i'm actually using 0.8.14 so let me just change it to 0.8.14 uh, it doesn't matter which version you use as long as this number is the same as the pragma solidity statement uh, at the top so you have solidity over here now what we have to do is to pass in the networks so we have to create a new object called networks and then we need to pass in the the network which we're using so in this our case it will be gorilla and uh you have to pass in the uh endpoint we got from from viral.io to connect to the node so process.env dot and make sure you have the same name as uh this rpc url so just copy this rpc url and let's paste it over here and then we type uh accounts and we type process.env.private key so basically a private key let's copy this and then let's paste it over here so that makes sure that this is the account which is going to deploy the smart contract on Gorilla and then uh, we also need to put a comma over here and a comma on the networks bracket and outside the networks bracket this is pretty important we have to type etherscan create this etherscan object and then we type api key and it's the process dot env dot etherscan key to make sure that our smart contract is verified and there we go so the configuration is done this is our solidity version this is the network that we're going to use gorilla this is our rpc url to connect to other nodes of the blockchain these are the accounts that we're going to use to deploy the smart contract and this is to make sure that our smart contract is verified and that's basically it now that we have everything set up we got we configured our networks we got a solidity version we got our endpoints and a private key it's actually time to start the deployment so we have to run a few commands the first command we have to run is called mpx hard hats clean so after you run this command uh nothing should happen uh, just like what happened just now but if you have if you had an error while doing everything there will be there will be an error popped up and hopefully you'll be following along with this video correctly so after this it's time to compile a smart contract so we type npx hard hat compile <coughs> uh, solidity 0 0.8.40 is not fully supported yet that's okay I can still compile it just just uh, it doesn't really matter now that our smart contract is finally compiled we can finally 
deploy our smart contract onto the Gorilla testnet and we can view on etherscan so right now we type in this command npx hardhat run and then we have to copy the path of our deploy.js so let's paste it here after you copied it I mean pasted it let's specify the network so in our case our network will be the Gorilla network so we type network and then Gorilla and if everything goes well and if if we've been doing everything correctly this should work so let's enter helper girly oh it's because i made, made a typo it's actually supposed to be li so let's run it again let's wait for a while And there we have it. As you can see, uh, our smart contract is finally deployed onto the blockchain, onto the Gorilla testnet, and it will say NFT mint deployed to, and then this address, and it's actually because of this console.log. So anyways, there we have it. It's deployed to this address, this contract address, but we're not done yet because we still have to verify this smart contract. But first, let's copy this address. Finally, our smart contract is on the Gorilla testnet, and then let's paste it into Etherscan. Make sure you're on the Gorilla testnet network. Enter, and there you have it. This is basically our smart contract. Uh, but as you can see, when you go to contract, this tab in basically here, you see. This is a bytecode and it's not supposed to be in bytecode it's supposed to be in like you're supposed to see the the solidity code that you've written but currently it's in bytecode right now the reason why it's in bytecode right now is because our smart contract needs to be verified so to verify a smart contract there are a few more commands that we need to run so let's go back to our terminal our code editor and then let's run npm install uh, at nomic labs n o m i c l a b s hard hat and ether scan and let's enter so it's gonna install that and while it's installing let's add this uh require statement in our hard hat .js. okay it's finished uh installing so we have to add at nomic Labs hard hats ethers and that's basically it. And then now let's run the command npm actually npx hard hats and then verify to verify our small contract and then specify network make sure I don't make a typo again. And then now we have to paste in the contract address of our smart contract. So let's copy this and let's paste it and then enter. And if all goes well, it should work. And then now you see success. It has submitted source code for contract. And now uh, it still needs to verify, but basically uh, we're done on our part. So actually, let's just reload this page. It hasn't updated yet. Success. So we have congrats. We have successfully verified our contract on Etherscan. So if we go to this link, uh, it's replacing the link with our contract address. Now, when you go to contract, you see we have our code on here instead of the bytecode. We have our code on here, and yeah, that's basically it. So congrats for sticking along and you have successfully deployed your own smart contract onto uh, ethereum testnet and you have verified that smart contract so the process that we mentioned in this video is the same for if you want to if you want to deploy your smart contract on a different testnet or if you want to deploy it on mainnet except you might have to pay some more gas fee 
anyways, that's basically it. And hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you around next time.